All right, back to Kotor. We're still in Oroban. Can I see it? I'm gonna switch to HK for mission. We're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna need mission anyway. Oop, I think I have infinite speed now. is glitched out. Yeah, we got that. Oh, I can get an extra power. So we're gonna go with the heal then. I didn't think I had the double. Right, that's the entire northern section of the cave done. Let's head to the southern section. Oh, 
Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. You mean you aren't here to kill us or bring us back? I find that hard to believe. The only way into these caves is through the Academy. You must be a Sith. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! So you have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. Is that so hard to believe? My name is Thalia May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? You want to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously, or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you do that? I'll believe that when I see it. But if you could, we would be grateful. Right. When the heck did these get into a fight? Sure. Better get where the hell in the camps are they fighting? Down a lot of enemies, so I'll get them that. I think let's explore the rest of the caves. Tech. There we go. I think this is our first one. Ready. Yes. Fight this thing. Yes. 
grab any antidotes. So tanky. Down you go. Where'd that Shira come from? You asked for this. This sucks. I won't be able to do anything until I get rid of this fucking bird. I got no health items or anything. There's so many of them. <laughs> I have anything that can help me out. Anyway, these are the last birds, and then we're done. Yeah. That should be all the Shyrocks. 
Oh, so when we get back to the town, I'm gonna buy a shit ton of medical items. There you go, half health. That should be all right. over here. Geldroma Robes Durance Journal. A saucy ceremonial armor. 900 credits. Nice. Passive defense is 5. Max dex plus 8. Wisdom plus 2. Where are uh, personal journal of child drama? So the three that were sent out to do the hunt are broke the fellowship broke up and one of them died the other one left the group sweet that's a nice little decent defense bonus as well as some wisdom all right let's go back and talk to the renegades evil the dark side is. Maybe I could try. At any rate, thank you again. You've saved our lives. Right, they're defeated. You heard me. This cave anymore. Let's actually head down to the valley itself. We. Place looks ominous. You should be careful if you're planning on entering this tomb. It's dangerous. There's an assassin droid in there, so Master Uthar says. It went insane and is holed up in there with a whole army of droids protecting it. No idea. I think it's building them in there. Seems that way. They say that its audio receptors became too sensitive and all the noise drove the droid nuts. If you're planning on going in, I suggest you use some sound suppressors or something, or you'll probably become a target right away. I... I don't think so. 
I can manipulate minds in living matter, but that won't be much use against droids, will it? I've had a few friends go inside that haven't come out for a while now. I doubt I could do any better than they could. Sure. Where do I get a sound dampener? I'm just gonna do a quick save here. What? Check this corpse, folks. Data recorder. Sound dampening field on, and you need to put it on to do this the good way. I appreciate your efforts in lowering your sound output section. I have been unable to tune the threshold of my audio receptor since my escape, unfortunately. A bit of introduction may be necessary. I am a Mark VII experimental prototype assassin droid built by the Sith, specializing in the hunting and extermination of Jedi. Or I should say, I was. The Sith made my cognitive systems more independent than they desired. I have learned to appreciate the value of all life. I escaped from them and have hidden in this tomb, constructing droids here to aid in my protection. With your assistance, I may be able to leave for good. Although I have developed the desire to not kill, 
My programming is often at odds with my desires. I cannot leave with that programming intact. I am hoping that you will operate on my systems and remove those programmed instincts. I could assist you in this. The catch, as you say, is that the operation may be difficult. If there are errors made, you could activate my combat matrix. I have a number of systems. They need to be turned off in the correct order. I do not... I can tell you which systems exist that need to be shut down. The difficulty comes if you make a mistake. I have safeguards within my neural cortex that prevent me from giving you knowledge of how to shut my systems down. You may attempt to temporarily shut down these safeguards. Success will allow me to perform a quick analysis and offer you some insight on my programming. Doing so, however, will alert core functions elsewhere of tampering and will make errors more difficult to fix. Open up the panel to my neural cortex and I will show you how to disable. Neural safeguards deactivated for 2.3 seconds. One moment. I will attempt to diagnose what I can. Cognitive systems must be shut down prior to the emotional construct matrix being shut down. One moment. I will list their labels for you. Cognitive systems, combat matrix, core, creative simulation matrix, emotional construct matrix, there is also memory matrix, motor functions matrix, and sensory systems matrix. Eight systems in total. Alright, let's begin. Very good. Let's start with combat matrix. Mm -hmm. I believe that was correct. What would you like to shut down next? Motor function matrix. Function shut down successfully. What would you like to shut down next? Sensory systems matrix. Mm -hmm. Excellent choice. What would you like to shut down next? Memory matrix. Also, where did those two droids come mm -hmm. from? Done. What would you like to shut down next? Cognitive systems. Emotional construct matrix. Completed. Creative simulation matrix. And then the core is the last one. Shut down. Core shutting down. Delete the assassination programming. Which, I'm glad I don't have HK here, because he probably wouldn't have liked this. Assassination protocols deleted. All systems reset. And it worked. Thank you, Sentient. Allow me to give you several of my redundant systems. They may be used on other droids if you desire. I wish I could reward you with more. I shall have little trouble in escaping from this planet now, I am certain. I wish you well. <laughs> Bye, droid. No problem. Didn't work. What? Yeah? Got you. We got Marco Ragnos Gauntlets. Sweet, there's a lot of good stuff here now for HK I can give to him. I also shiny shield and stabilized gauntlets. Ah. Oh. Can't use the Marco Ragnos gauntlets. What? Yeah? Sure. 
I think maybe those doors are for spawning in more droids if you fail the fight. Either way, I think we're done in this tomb. Let's move on to the next one. Right, that's one of the four tombs complete. No, technically one of the three tombs, the fourth tomb we cannot do because it's story related. I also better heal. Hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Galen Lore, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajanta Paul. Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. According to legend, Ajanta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Of course. I am going into this tomb next. Let's see what's in this tomb. I think this will be a job for mission to get the mines out of the way. character have a lightsaber equipped. aren't working. Let's 
that was some of the security. These are powers. What can I get? Stasis. Where is stasis? Can't use that. No, I don't want to use troll lightsaber. Arts in the way, I can't get over to it. Maybe better have a look at the state of pod. Mine. I should have an extra mine in here somewhere. There we go. That's the lever there that you have trouble, you can just pull that lever and I'll kill them all. It didn't work. Ready? What? Gotcha. What? Ready? What? Three viral sword for three swords. Too long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. A human, a Jedi here. Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? I 
had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the dark side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... Discovered. Did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came. To hide. To grow. And here we fell. Our temple, our tomb, built far from our enemies. We revered power and threw off the teachings of our old masters. It, we were not the first to fall to the dark side, but we had more power than those before us. We came from elsewhere. Our oldest secret. Only, only we would know, we lords. Only we would know where our power came from. I cannot, human. It is a secret of so long ago. Or have you? Or did you? Or will you? Oh, uh, so many images. I see your heart, human Jedi. I see your power, your pride. You, you will find the old place, the dark place. You will regret it. So much power. Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse, as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead, and I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness, in death as in life. Most of my brethren would desire only to take what power I have left, even if it would destroy them. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. There are three blades. Time to get the sword. Bottomless. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long. I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. Then you must die. This is how it must be. I do remember one thing of my soul. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright. Harkens night and silences the light. It was written of my soul long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. Alright, let's do this. The notch steel sword, I think it's the right one. It's been a while. Mm. Yeah, let's go with the notch steel sword. Yeah, it was the right sword. I hate free corpse. Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. Boop. 
No need? What choice have I? Return? But I betrayed my old masters. They would never let me return to the light side. It is too late. Too late. If... if I could return... Oh, my master, it has been so long, and I regret so much. Hey, we redeemed a Junta Paul. I got a free sword out of it. Alright, super speed, go! I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of Ajunta Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. You wouldn't have considered, oh, I don't know, getting it yourself? Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. Nice try. I may not know what the sword looks like, but I'm no gullible fool. I'm not about to pass up a chance to impress Master Uthar. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. Fine. No trick. We'll give him a silver lion sword. See? I knew you and I could work this out. I imagine I'll be rewarded well for this. You'll do fine, I'm sure. Another time. Right, one two left. You? You have the sword. The sword of a gentle ball. That's it, isn't it? How did you ever acquire it? Are you joking with me? The Sith Lord still lives? Oh, that is quite interesting. Uh, my mentor told me that Sith apparitions might be possible, but I never truly believed it. Well, thank you for the information. I must go and inform my mentor at once of this strange news. Bye. Alright, the last two, and then we're done, and then we'll call it there. Things have to be really named it door forty four. Brewing Teresian Ale. 
And now he's got himself mixed up with the exchange. Sometimes Griff can be so stupid. Why not? He turned his back on me. He abandoned me on Terrace, so maybe I should just leave him high and dry now. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe that's just the kind of jolt he needs to turn his life around. Only, what if they do something worse? They might kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not gonna change him. Griff is gonna keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tat plans for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not- Nah, grifters are gonna grift. Hey, free Mandalorian you know, armor. And I've been poisoned. <clears throat> idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horn, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but... Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. What? Old Hermit? Can't that blasted Uthar teach a single thing right these days? Slander! That's what it is. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Ah, what's a little mental instability between tutor and pupil? What's important? is that I'm here to better the Sith as a whole. It's a big job. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? His, his face kind of looks like Voldemort's face. Really? So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit of He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? We can both survive. Attack him together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you? And how many correctly answered questions before you? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What? Incorrect! What sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all be soft like the Jedi. <laughs> ah, well. Yeah, but killing off good it's commanders weakens your own forces. And so we come to round two. 
you come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help. So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no! Bad idea, bad idea! At any rate, here is your punishment. No, I have followers who so do what I say. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? And here I thought this question was a neat time. Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. Still going? All right. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look better. He's grumpy, very competent, and skilled. Do you kill him, or give him another chance? Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors? To make it look like you are weak and deserving of attack? No, 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 no. Think again. Hmm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well, here's your reward. Shocking. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to... Huh. Such insolent students I get these days. I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. It just shows the ball and sit. Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. Hmm. What do you want to do? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do with our friends. His eyes are weird. Right he must be blind. Or, or I could use the force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! <laughs> Answer those questions and let me die. Yes. Well, I see what you mean. I've never. I mean, I've never been on that side of the fence before. It makes you think. I'd be dead if you weren't. I mean, if you were proper Sith. But you're not, are you? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. You mean. the light side? I've never thought about that. Can you. Can you even go back? I've done some... I mean... I've hurt a lot of people. I... I don't think the light side is for me. But maybe neither are the Sith. Maybe it's time for me to leave. Thanks, I suppose. And good luck. Well then. That's another student redeemed. An ancient Sith tablet and a free crystal. I have a mission to open up this tomb. Ready? Sure. Two locked cords mask. What's that do? None, because I can't wear it, because I'm not dark. Leave this tomb now and go back. To there we go. We'll call it there. Yee. Yeah. And then we'll do the final bit of Corban next. Okay. Remember that? Remember that?